Today we're going to try making a mud clock. This is kind of a different sort of energy. Uh, it's uh, alternative but not really sustainable because it uses copper and I think that's zinc there. Uh, but it's kind of neat to see what can be done when you think outside the box. So let's go inside the box to see what they're doing. Let's see what we've got. Look at all the pieces. Oop. Instructions. Might need that later. Yeah, plastic bag. We'll have to recycle this. Is that? Oh my goodness, it's all plastic! That's all right. It is recyclable. Oh, look, there's a clock. And here are actually the, uh, the parts. The parts that do the trick. It's pretty neat. Not much to it, really. As you notice, we've got a couple of strips of zinc and a couple of copper. What they really do is, when you put them in the dirt, the difference between the two metals and the dirt in between creates a little battery. And that's the trick. Oh, hey, look at this. It's a screwdriver. Need a. And in this box, we have. Obviously, there's a clock in there. Oops, what was that? Something important, I'm sure. And this is kind of a cool clock. You can see right through it. Really neat. There's the wires. These wires will go into the block. And, uh, all right, I see what this is for now. Wow, these are probably the same people that package CDs and DVDs. All right, after much fighting, we did get them out of the package. And really all that is is just to keep this little thing Standing up right. Ta-da! Alright. Sadly this plastic has no home. Neither does that one. Okay. Alright, see we just may as well put these together. Uh oh. Cute, eh? Oops. Come on. Oh. How cute. Okay, so each of these gets a little doohickey. Okay, uh, it says to put this wire from one side here. Gotta make sure that's gonna line up. Come on. Here we go. Okay, so matches the picture. No, that's kind of hard to do, isn't it? Hang on, I'm going to get a better screwdriver. Okay, got myself a better screwdriver because this thing is falling apart. So, what we're trying to do, without breaking this, we're going to try and install this wire still into that little hole. Here's the other one. And In the middle. That seems to be in there. Okay. Next. We need five hands for this. Okay. There we go. Now we need some mud because it's not working. Mud. Mud. In there. Ta da. There's one. There's two. Okay. And I'm just going to wash my hands. So I'll be right back. Okay. Hands are clean. So there's our mud. So let's see if it works. Mm, stick one in one, put the other probe in the other one, and we should see something exciting happening. Hey, check it out, check it out. Ta-da! There it is. Now you just have to set your clock, and all is good. Oh, of course you don't want to just waste that dirt, so I'm going to put some wheat grass in there, because wheat grass is good for you. And then you wait a week. Done. Set. Week. Ooh, alarm at 1 a.m. Not good. Set that for 8 because we don't got to get up too early. 
So, set the clock. What time is it anyways? I have no clue. There we go, 4.16, and now we wait for the buzzer to go off. Actually, you know what, the instructions say that uh, the mud's just not strong enough to make it go buzzer buzzer, so there you go, you don't even need an alarm. Make sure the alarm is off. And there is a mud clock, and in a few days you'll also have wheatgrass for your cats. Ta-da!